I just gave the grow out some pellets. Um, they're about, oh, I guess they're going on five weeks. As I move this tractor that we've built, and I'm moving it sideways rather than pulling it down the pasture, but you can see this is where they've eaten over the last several days, and this is, is where they have not. They absolutely love this dollar weed. Um, it's a scourge of golf courses and lawns, but we love the dollar weed. We also love dandelions. I try to get as many dandelions out in this pasture as I possibly can. Um, what I've also done is I've come in and I've overseeded, not just, I, I put Oregon rye out here because we put it in the area which the kids play in on the lawn, but I've also gone in and put in some, uh, like a deer plot mix, which has got crimson clover, it's got these cowpeas, it's got oats, it's got wheat in here, and some various types of rye. You can see, you can see in here the, uh, the clover coming up, uh, this little crimson clover. Uh, a per, uh, an, an annual uh, because I've been advised here in the low country of South Carolina not to try to do a perennial clover because they just don't do well in our heat but um, I'm going to give it a bit of a try a little later on but that's sort of what we're doing the purpose of planting this field let me show you as I spin around here is because we're going to bring in some ram lambs three that pen that i've built there is uh portable let me spin this around and what we're going to do is that pen is going to be for the rams to stay at night kita's job is to guard this place 24 7 but she is the queen of the night so to speak and so they'll go in there at night. She will have full access to them, 360 degrees, and she can guard them uh, from, we do have coyotes, bobcats, whatever we have out here. She's the protector. She's the, she's the ruler of the night. So they will have access to this pasture, which is about 0.6 acres um, from the time that we get them after they're weaned uh, until they're up to 100, 120 pounds. Then we're going to take them, we'll harvest them, have them uh, packaged. They'll go to the proverbial freezer camp. And we'll munch on that until time to purchase some more. In that meantime, the pasture will rest. We're trying to break that parasite cycle. Since we have such a small area here, we're trying to break that parasite worm cycle by letting it rest. We'll also introduce chickens out here, let them scratch around, let them mix up, let them add their uh, manure to the process as they break up the, the lamb uh, manure and droppings and piles, spread it all around, and, um, and then gobble up those parasite worm larvae as they hatch. Uh, and hopefully, the hope is, that it'll keep the parasite cycle down and we won't have to worm. In that we've got lambs, we're keeping them for a short period of time. We're just basically growing them out, same way we're growing out the rabbits. We're using grass to do that, uh, that this pasture will hold out. So what we've got is we've got the, the natural lay out here, which is basically centipede is what they originally planted, mixed in with all of these, what would can be considered nasty uh, weeds, dandelion uh dollar wheat or penny wart um uh out here and we also have some uh some like blackberry bushes that are that are growing or blackberry vines that are growing all over the place then we've got planted oregon rye which is not great for protein but it is you know it's forage and then of course on top of that i said we put the deer plot uh seeds and um Pretty heavy, two bags out here. You know, you're only supposed to put about, about a bag per acre, I mean, per half acre. And we put two bags out here because we're not trying to attract deer, we're trying to feed. So we'll see how this does. And it's coming up good. It's about 68, 70 degrees this morning uh, in South Carolina for those of you in other parts of the country that uh, it's winter time. 
but we're still doing well and I'll get some growth. We'll bring the lambs in here and I'll let you know what happens. Amen. So this is how we're doing our quote unquote pasture. Are we mob pasturing? I don't know. Uh, we're certainly not segmenting it off. I just don't want to do that. I don't want to move every day. We're going to see how it does with just these three ram lambs. If we don't do well, we'll just have to feed them out and try it again. You know, no, it's, uh, it's, it's a learning process when you have a new piece of land. Amen? Amen.